G'day, I'm George Christensen, Chair of the House of Representatives Standing Committee on Social Policy and Legal Affairs. We're here to give you an update on our inquiry into the Child Support Program. The inquiry started in April. We've now held our final public hearing and are preparing the report. The questionnaire was online for over four months when it closed at the end of August. We had over 11,000 responses. We received 127 public submissions, all of which are published on the committee's website. We privately received over 100 personal written stories. We held 13 public hearing sessions and heard from 105 individuals at community statement sessions right around the country. Hi, I'm Sharon Clayton, Federal Member for Newcastle and the Deputy Chair of Social Policy and Legal Affairs. Our online questionnaire has been incredibly successful. We've received over 11,000 responses. Despite the difficulty in sharing experiences, people have been honest and open about their story. Many responses are positive and others illustrate the recurring problems people have with the system. We've published three snapshots of the questionnaire online and we will use the information from the questionnaire to inform our findings and we'll include extracts in the report. The submissions helped us to understand how the child support program is designed, how it works and what people have experienced as clients of the program. The submissions came from individuals, government agencies, charity groups, men's and women's groups, legal assistance organisations and others. The submissions indicated issues that we followed up through the public hearings, represented many different points of view, presented problems and suggested improvements, provided us with additional sources of evidence and will be essential for the report. All 127 submissions to the inquiry have been published online and will remain public documents after the inquiry has been completed. Many people wanted to share their experiences with us in a more detailed way. When people wrote to us with their personal stories, we kept these confidential. These personal stories provided valuable insights and it's important to respect the privacy of all parties. We carefully read them all and considered how the stories related to the other evidence we have received. These stories, formerly called correspondence, are part of the inquiry's evidence. They will be considered as we prepare our report, along with other forms of evidence. They will remain confidential. Now, we've had a comprehensive hearing program with hearings in most Australian capital cities, Canberra, Sydney, Brisbane, Hobart, Melbourne and Adelaide. Some witnesses joined us over the phone so that they could give evidence without having to travel those long distances mm. involved to the hearing venue. Witnesses came to our hearings with their ideas for improvement and many followed up with further information. Transcripts from all of those hearings are available on our website and while we weren't able to talk to everyone who put in a submission, we are grateful to everyone who made themselves available to us. And we also heard from many individuals with their own personal view of the child support program at community statement sessions. We asked people to register online and as we planned, each hearing we used a randomised process to select individuals to, so, to speak publicly at the sessions. Unfortunately, we couldn't hear from everyone who wanted to speak with us, but we had participants with a broad range of involvement in the program. The program deals with tough issues and many people had a difficult story to tell us, but everyone tried to focus on the bigger picture. As well as telling us about their personal experiences, people clearly thought about how their program could work better for everyone, especially for children who are the ultimate purpose of the child support program. So the committee will be looking at how the child support program communicates with clients, what assistance is available to help parents in negotiating the best arrangements for their situation, and how the assessment and collection process can be better tailored for individual circumstances. We'd like to thank everyone who has contributed to the inquiry Many people have put a lot of time into their contribution and without public participation, inquiries simply don't get off the ground. We're no longer accepting submissions or correspondence because we're now drafting our report, which we'll present to Parliament in the early new year. So please keep your eyes on the website. We'll publish the report once it's been tabled in Parliament.